All right, Wildland Explorers, this is Derek William Dalton and Playtester Prime having a play session. You guys can join in and see how we play it. We're playing with typical rules with one exception. We've decided to use staffs for part of the magic system, and that is just a method of storing the effects of elixirs into the portable object of a staff. Just one of those fun little house rules you can do as you adjust and you play. So where were we? We just we had a quest of the mountaintop where we have to map a nearby mountain. And is that this one? Yeah, it's that one because our Wilderland levels both happen to be zero. Yes, we're brand new. So characters. It happens to be we're there. And it happens to be that m mountain, which means we only have to roll a cartography roll once, and we only have to roll an endurance roll once. Okay, did you make those rolls already? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. So I'm just gonna move my character right here, Frank the Dwarf, Venturer. Okay, 16. Oh, I failed. That's more than the endurance level, so he failed. What? That was my cartography roll. Oh, cartography. Yeah. You were close. Okay, so you have a map, but it's not awesome. Yeah, it's not that great. I should probably retry that. So the leader hopes to access more resources. Make a daily endurance roll. If successful, make a cartography roll. Draw wildland cards each day during settlements. We're already in the same hex, so there's the mountain. I have a character I'm using. I don't have the cartography skills, so I'm not of any help to you. So, new adventurers, not impressing anybody yet. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna try again the next day. Crank up. Frank the Dwarf. Okay, and so, success. I successfully rolled a cartography roll, which means. So now the map for that day is better. It, it means it actually gives information that is useful. Very nice. So should we take this back, take your map back to the village leader? Yep. The dwarven village. Uh, inside the next mountain over. Oh yeah. We get... Uh, so uh, the relationship with the village leader goes up two and with the village goes up one and we get a coin. Ooh, yay! For our efforts. And I feel so privileged. Also, we have some civilization modifiers that go up. Denizen Literacy goes up one. Yes! But Monstrous Benevolence goes down one because the monsters don't want us messing around in their mountain and their business. And also, your cartography skill goes up one. Ooh, yay! Unless we volunteered and say, nah, thank you, village leader, but you can keep that coin, then our relationship with the village leader goes up another point. And with the village goes up another point, and the denizen literacy goes up another point. And so I, let's do that. So denizen literacy, that's going to be two now. I thought it was going to be three. Because we would if, already be if we did mastery, it would have been plus oh, two. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yay. Now my uh, now my hammer can be upgraded to a two plus two hammer. So now, right, the, uh, we'll read a name for the dwarven village and for the leader of the dwarves. Uh, Fork. Fork the dwarf. Yes. How about how about Bork the dwarf? How about Bork Fork? Bork the dwarf. <laughs> okay. Fork Fork. It is. It sounds more fork Swedish than fork. Dwarven, but that is okay. So, which way should we go? 
this way, or this way, or this way, or this way, or this way. Yes. Or this way. One of those, definitely. Well, also, we have decided that we're not using the food and water rules, just to make things faster. And we're also not using the traveling rules in involving the character trait of action of mobility. And endurance. Yeah. And all that and stuff. And trekking skill. It's really fun to do, but making it simpler just to move things along. So recap of what we did so far. So we started over here. We found a weapons craftsman, and then we moved over here. There was a monster that we helped. There was a quest. Mm -hmm. Then we found the city of Jugals. And there was actually an abandoned house in there that we found. So we purchased it. So we got a place to go crash if we need to. And then there was a pretty steep incline up several thousand meters and then into the mountains. And a really high peak and then we came back down to some more mountains. And all in tundra the whole time. And we found the Dwarven village. So shall we go east? Uh, I guess you'll do it. Why not? Okay. So, a pleasant breeze and a bright sun. So, nice. die so 20. Happens. Plus monstrous benevolence, which is zero. Uh, plus wilderland level. Oh, monstrous benevolence is negative one because we mapped that mountain. Oh, yeah. My wildland level is zero and yours is zero. Oh yay! So fun times. Roll that and minus one. Eleven. Plus one health. This over 18 that happens. 12 to 18 that happens. Yeah. So 11 means nothing happens. Oh. Poop. Nothing happens. That's not fun. What are you talking about? Nothing happens. That's kind of boring. We're hiking through the tundra. How awesome is that? Mm. Adventurers, free and bold. Okay. We're still in the mountains though, so I'm going to draw some mountains in there. I like mama mama mountains, mama mama mountains, mama 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 mountains. Okay, what's next? <gasps> Could it be? Is it? No, it couldn't. It's a village. Another village. Awesome. So roll this to see what kind it is. Okay. In mountain, either it's a dwarvish village or it's not it or it's a unknown village it's an unknown village probably human kind of foreshadowing is three so that's five uh. so yeah that means it's a human village Aww. so we can explore it we would do roll a dice divide it in half roll a dice divide it in half see how many hexes it is do you want to explore it or the village, or shall we just keep moving on? Um, I'm gonna give them a couple hundred coins. To Walk help through the them. village and just help out the needy. No, I'm just gonna drop a bunch of coins on their front door. Like sneak in in the night? No, just gonna, right now. Okay, you're gonna ding dong ditch the. Peasants of this mountain tundra village? Sure, why not? What if their local culture finds that offensive? That you're giving them stuff without making them work for it? You could create an enemy. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> okay. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, should we keep exploring? Sure, why not? Keep going west? Yeah. Alright, draw another card. Misdirection. Oh, it's gonna be a... Oh, I have to draw the village on here. A flock of birds and a cloudy sky. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Thirteen! Minus one plus zero is twelve. Well, yeah. health goes up one. Yay! I don't have any wounds. Do you have any wounds? No. So nothing happens. Yay. Let's keep going. Ooh, by the looks of the back of the card, I'm going to assume that it's going to be a weather one. Okay, I'm going to draw the card, and it's going to be a weather one. 
Ta da! Okay. Have you played this before? No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's die 20 minus Gaia foreshadowing? No! Okay, so roll it and minus 3. <clears throat> 6. It's a deep freeze. So that means we need to uh, use our survival skills so we don't get too cold. What's your survival skill? It's not one of your skills. Is it wait. one of my skills? Ooh, I have a really good idea. What? I could, uh, I could forge some stuff. From the forge you keep in your back pocket? Is it the same pocket with the bucket of lava? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's how I create. Oh, I could, uh, so I could pour a little bit of the lava into the forge and then make some, uh, a fire starting kit. Or if you have a bucket of lava, you could just plop it down on the ground and we could sit next to it real closely with our hands next to it. Well, they, until the weather warms up. Nah. No, you want to do your thing? Okay, uh -huh. what, what skills would that involve? Uh, plopping lava buckets. I need to make that a skill. I'm just kidding. That's not a skill. So, um, I'm going to forge some stuff. Ooh. So a couple things you can do when you roll a 20. It can be just a fail, or it can be an epic fail. An epic fail. And you break your forge, you drop your weapon, you slip and fall down, you fall on your own sword, you break your lock picks, the elixir you're trying to make explodes in your face. <laughs> I like that one. You spill lava from a bucket onto your foot and burn your leg off. I don't oh, know. What kind of things pleasant. could happen? Um, so I'm thinking that I splash some lava onto your health. Oh, you spilled <laughs> You spill the lava on me, not you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're, no, I'm just kidding. Well, do I, you... No, I splashed the lava on the ground, and then it melted through everything, and it created an infinite abyss through the entire Earth. And so you just come out the other side and then go into, into orbit, and then you'd be dead. Okay, once again, my suspension of disbelief is being strained. However... We can we can go with that. I'm just gonna stay away from this infinite abyss that you made. Oops. One of my character skills is cold resistance. Uh and is... it's a skill of seven. So while you're doing all your stuff, I am going to just try to stay warm until this passes. Oh look at that! That is mastery. That means I don't lose any health. At all. No frostbite, no hypothermia, nothing. I'm totally fine. Well, you could have just stayed behind the forge. Or put You're your spilling in. lava all over the place. I'm staying away from you. Oh, uh, okay. You're lost, boy. You're lost. Mm. Well, now that the adventure of the freezy weather has passed, should Ooh. we keep adventuring? Uh, yeah. Also, um... I kind of messed up an iron sword. So now it's it's a curved sword. Here. I'm just gonna sketch it for you. Uh there we go, right there. Okay. So I was doing okay for most of it and then But I could make it a new type of sword. So it also can be a sword where um, then you can wonk people. Ooh, with can it. I draw the hilt? No. No. I'm going oh. to. Can I color it? Sure. You have fun. It's still hot and glowing from where you spilled lava on it. Yeah, oops. There we go. Wait a second, if it's still hot and glowing, then I can just move it back into position.
thoughts and things. Then you dropped it on the tundra. Oh. And it tempered it, and it cooled off. Aww. And now you can't fix it. <laughs> That's part of that 20 that you rolled. You're still having klutzy behavior because of it. Ooh, I can okay, still bonk. Okay, so now bonk. you have the curved sword. Ooh, I can still bonk people with it. You could. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what tomorrow holds. Biome change. Which hex space is that? Uh, right there. Right Where are we? there. That one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm getting on. scared. I hope it's not forest or grassland, because that always happens. Yeah, it's desert. Desert. A cold desert. No more walking on the freezing ground. Now we're walking on the cold sand. Oh, oh, we should take our shoes off. Feel the cold sand beneath wind. You, know, yeah, you have fun with that. I'm going to keep my boots on. Why? Because you might spill something on my feet. <laughs> I don't even have the lava bucket out anymore. Is it back in your pocket? Because that makes total sense. Yeah, along with my forge and my hammer. How can we be... Wouldn't it just be really big sand dunes? The mountains? Well, there could still be desert mountains. Uh, it doesn't really make sense. Well, there's, there's lots of that in the Middle East and Southwest of the U.S. In the Merca? Where do you okay. want to go next? Keep going that same direction? That way. That way? Okay. Slow. <laughs> yes! We have an adventure! Okay. Woo! Things get stolen. Neutral soldiers. So these are soldiers from a the settlement. The human villagers. That we are not allies nor enemies with. Oh yeah, so it could be that human village. Or Jugals. It could be. How about this? Next die roll. Even is Jugals, odd, it's the human village. Okay. So roll this die 20 minus sovereign camaraderie, which is zero. Roll away. They order us to leave. Well, that's how many there are. There's seven of them. Oh, okay. And their threat level is five minus zero for sovereign camaraderie. And what do they want us to do? They just ignore us. Okay. I can. What did we say? That. Odd was the human village. Uh huh. Okay, so they must be on their way back, and they're just ignoring us. Nope. Hey, what's up, neutral soldiers? Eh. Mm. Okay. Later, dudes. Have fun. Eh. Storm in the castle. Eh, grumble. But now we know they have soldiers in the human village. Yeah. And we dropped off 500 coins. Well, oh, and that I was did. right here? Yeah. Okay. Well, I did. You were being weird. And malfunctioning. Yeah, because leaving hundreds of coins on the strangers' doorsteps is completely normal behavior. Uh huh. It's just a thing I do. Except for you. You are malfunctioning and stuff. Alright, okay. where do you want to go next? Right here. Right there. Okay. Terrain change. So we are in mountains. Oh. So you roll here and then it'll tell us what happens to the terrain. Go ahead. Give it a roll. Oof. Eighteen. So it's a river. Nice. And the plus. Why is there a river in the desert? So we're hiking up higher, higher, and we come across a river. So this river probably isn't going to the desert since we didn't see it, but it's going to be going downhill. So maybe it's going this way. Uphill? Maybe it's going uphill. So it's going to go down pretty steep. So there's going to be some rapids and stuff right there. We should go get some. Uh, some dragonflies from the river. 
So if we were playing with food and water, this would be a good place to hang out for a little bit. And Replenish our water food. Yep, storage. and if we had pack Stay. animals. And also if we were playing with the terrain, it would take us, instead of just one day to go from here to here, it would probably take us three days because we have to back and forth. Because that is, is that three? So yeah. that's 3,000 meters in elevation change. Mm. And we would have um, we would have uh, probably have to take more endurance checks because of the altitude. Yeah. No but kidding. anyway, there's our river. Our map is looking cool. Okay. Okay. But that means we're out of the mountains. Ooh. Where do you want to go next? No. Uh. I'm thinking we should go right here. There? Draw a card. Adventure! An adventure card! Awesome! We love adventure cards. Ooh. Yes, an abandoned castle. Perfect. Uh, right here, did you say? Uh, yes. Okay. In the desert, that's even cooler. A high desert abandoned castle. Let's draw. is 4 plus 3 or 4 plus 6. Depending on your weapon? Yeah. What are the two weapons? Uh, so there's my hammer and there's my long sword. So it would be 4 plus 4, 4 plus 3, and 4 plus 6. Okay, so the 4 he's talking about is based on his strength yeah. and then plus whatever the damage bonus is for his weapon. For my character, Valif, the human tracker, damage is 3 plus 4 from axe or plus uh, three from the bow if he's using it. I so these are up. all the sections of the castle. We could make a map if we want or we can just do it in our my imaginations. I don't have one of those. You don't? No. I think I have a spare one in my back pocket. Okay. Here, so you, I carry imaginations it. in my pocket and you carry buckets of lava in your pocket. Okay. Oh, here we go. See? Do you, just, do you want to just go through each of these? Yeah. So, so in each start... place in the castle, you will roll one of those, and then we'll see what's in there. So guy foreshadowing is three. Mission impossible for our fantasy adventure guys. And monstrous benevolence is minus one. And what's the other one? Sovereign camaraderie is zero. So we will add two to all of your die rolls to see what happens. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's start with uh, the Barbican. Barbican, okay. And we'll just go down from there. All right, sounds good. Roll it, roll it, roll it. The, the, the tension's killing me. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a pretty typical playing session for the Lone Wilderlands with Derek William Dalton and Playtester Prime. Sometimes there's more battle, sometimes there's more exploring. There is a whole bunch of wild lands that can be explored. They'll find new forests and mountains and mines, more monsters, villages and settlements and castles and cities. They can also go back to the Dwarven Village where they have an ally in the Dwarven Village leader. And that can be a source for more quests, and more information. More Player's Guide videos are in the works. Watch at the GameCrafter.com Lone Wilderlands page at the Derek William Dalton YouTube channel or email me at dwdaltonadventures at gmail.com dwdaltonadventures at gmail.com The next upgrade I'm working on for the Lone Wilderlands will be weekly cards to add to your stacks and these will be available for free whether you've purchased the game or not. Until next time